afternoon we're going to teach you how to make a cross section. Cross sections are similar to graphs and use contour lines to show the height of the land. They are constructed using contour lines. This example shows a vertical section cut through the land of the central North Island. Steps of construction. Number one. Label A and B on your map and draw a line between them in pencil. Number two. Place at each Place a piece of scrap paper on the edge of the map from A to B with the corner of the paper at A. We've done this on our own map and we've labelled the contour lines on the map. Step 3. Every time a contour line crosses the paper, put a mark on the paper and label the correct height along it. If you look at this picture, you can see that it's labelled 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and then back again. Step 4. Draw a vertical and horizontal axis, like a graph, on which to plot the cross section. The horizontal axis of the graph must measure the same distance as A to B on the map. Label A and B on the axis. The vertical axis needs to be labelled in metres up to the highest point on the map. Now, step 5. Place the paper with the contour marks under the horizontal axis. Mark off the con Step 6. Mark off the contours with a cross on, onto the graph. Plot the contours at the correct height on the cross-section graph using the vertical scale. Step 7. Draw a line to join the points. Rub out any plot lines. The cross-section now shows what a vertical section through the area of land between points A and B looks like. Okay. To create a cross-section, you will need a topographic map with contour lines to work from, a piece of scrap paper and good paper, plus a pencil, pen, eraser and ruler. You now know how to create a cross section.